This conference will now be recorded. So team, uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about ICE tool and what are the operators in ICE tool. So ICE tool is similar to SART utility. What we can do with the SART utility, we can able to do even with ice tool also so let's try to understand what are the operators in ice tool what are the what is the syntax so there are predefined dd names when we are executing ice tool utility tool message dfs msg these two are the dd names one is if any error belongs to ice tool those errors will be printed in tool message ready statement if any error belongs to sort card those errors will be printed in dfs msg we will be writing all operators in tool in ready statement so there are different operators are there copy count data set these are all the operators so 17 operators are there so we will try to discuss one by one so already we have a sequential file team that is ps in and i am going to insert again duplicate records So Venkat, I'm keeping now E001 is existing ones. I'm going to write David, David, and I'm going to copy E005 also here, Miller. So South Africa. David Australia so we are having almost nine records in our file so we can use ice tool utility to copy the data from one file to another file we can do same thing with the EB jenner or sort utility so let me copy the data set name S ice tool member I am creating. First, we have to write the job card. So, job card accounting information, programmer name, notify equal ampersand sys user ID. Step one execute pcm is called ice tool so what are the mandatory dd statement tool msg dd we are redirecting the errors into spool dfs msg dd sys out equal star then tool in dd star this is the basic skeleton code for ice tool so there is no predefined dd name to specify input data set name or output data set name like in sort utility we are having sort in sort out but in ice tool we don't have such we can go with user defined dd name so i will say i1 dd this position share i2 dd this position share so dsn is equal to ps out ps out 
so i guess i get something wrong it should be a tool in so how we can copy the data so we have a operator so always in any jcl utility control card should start from second or anywhere after second it should not start from first column so copy is the operator so copy from i1 to i2 so what does mean we are copying the data as it is from this particular file to this particular file now save submit the code so we got zero so we have to see the output in ps out file start 3.4 so ps out the data what we it is there in the input file as it is same data it is got copied in this way we can copy the data from one file to another file if you want to copy same data into multiple files as simple as you can add i3 so at this moment i am redirecting the output to spool instead of that we can redirect to another file like how i have written in the same way we can write here also keep different file name so i4 so here what you have to do i3 comma i4 save and submit now we are redirecting we are copying the data from one file to many files total how many files are there the destination files three one is file file two are spool so start yes st question mark type yes you can see uh, did we get the error by the way no right i guess this is something different i am referring the uh, okay let me purge the purge the jobs Seven eight zero one. We got zero. Now we can see I three, I four. So what data will be there in I four? Same data will be there in I three also. So this is all about how we can copy the data from one file to many files. now so we want to do sorting just we are copying the data from one file to many files without sorting so we can use uh we can implement sort also so let's right now we can use another op op option using operands what we call operands this is operator this is operand using uh, let me do something different now we have seen positive test case now i am removing uh, ti i have given which is the statement is belongs to the statement is related to i stool because operator and operands are belongs to i stool so valid part of the i stool but i have given wrong name so we will get the error the error will be printed in tool message read statement so because the error is here now go to this pool 
F3, F3. So I guess it is printing in the reverse order. So tool MSC, you can see there is error here. Okay, error in keyword parameter or delimiter. F9. So in this way, we have to see and fix it. So the data I want to do sorting, I'm using, I'm going to invoke control card using CTRL, which is user defined. So CNTL, CTRL. CNTL should be prefixed the same as whatever we have given here. Same thing should be here to specify now what is happening. So before it do something over here, it will invoke the uh, you know control card, sort control card. Sort fields is equal to one comma five comma ch comma a. So we can invoke control cards also. Save submit. So we got zero tool. Maybe let me see uh, the way of invoking. I need to look into that. So there is something called prefix or suffix. Okay. So we will see anyhow. Okay. I have given a different vice versa team. So C T R L C N T L. So suffix and C and T L fix prefix what you have given first four four characters that should start here. Okay, sorry for that. That is the rule. Submit. Now we got max is zero. So F9 go to file open C open the output file. Data is in sorted order. Can you see? One one two Mohit. Three Varun or Venkat, five Miller, five Vinod, eight Anshul, uh, then Saini. Okay, tip. So I'm going to copy the input file. So in this way, we can call the control card. And you want to do sorting or you want to filter the while you are copying from one file to another file, you can filter it. Okay. So instead of doing like this, we can do simple directly copy. So sortility. So this is all about uh, copy team. Copy from to. I guess we can mention. 10 destination files. So here we specified three destination files. Like that, we can mention maximum 10 destination files. So okay, sir, uh, I have a doubt. Yeah. Is CTRL the system defined word or user defined? CTRL is user defined. CNTL is a predefined. CTRL is user defined. Instead of CTRL, you can give ABCD. You specify ABCD here also. Okay. So, what stands for CNTL? Is there any particular control. definition? Control. I guess it is a control. Yeah. Uh, I'm sir, guessing. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, if we write that sort field after the copy, also it will work, no? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, you are saying this if you write this one here, correct? Huh, after this, copy, copy, copy. Copy, yeah. no, I don't think so because under tooling, you have to write the uh, ice tool options, not sorted later. This is purely related to sort, right? Okay, so with that, with that point, I am telling, I guess it you cannot write. Okay, that is the reason I still providing option called using to invoke. Any sort control card if you want to use.
okay now let's see the another operator count operator so to count okay count is used to create an output setting con uh, containing the text out count so rc12 rc8 rc4 0 based on the meeting criteria number of records in a data set so there is a interview question that how do you check whether file is an empty or not how do you check whether file is an empty or not so there are different ways to do it through jcl one of them is ice tool okay so whether file is an empty or not that we need to check it without not manually so i will show you that first ice tool i am deleting control card now so this is not required and i can comment this line if it is required we will use them so now i am going to use uh, empty file so for that i have to delete the content br14 so anyhow it is an empty so we have to use operator count what is the syntax count from count from i guess from is fixed i1 so i am changing the data set name save submit let's see what is happening we got max is zero go to spool uh no tool message so record count is zero okay so this is not my objective okay so this is not my objective i'll tell you so if you see the theoretical notes it will return four so we can mention empty so if empty i mentioned if it is really it is an empty it is going to return max c four uh stool it is coming no empty 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 okay we'll see anyhow tool code okay sorry someone i guess modified the Okay. One mute. So I am kept in listening order. Okay, let me submit again. I feel something somewhere it is missing. So now you know we need to note the Java ID seven eight one two. Seven eight one two is coming here. Okay. Yes, you can see count meets criteria tool set operation code zero. Yeah, so uh, empty 
you mention if it is it is really empty it is not four you will get 12 so we will see they mentioned rc4 i don't think okay so we are getting max is 12 so count meets the criteria so if it is an empty if it is really empty generally we expect zero but it is going to return 12 so what i do ps in save submit so we should not get 12 simple mm. My file name is wrong. Save, submit. Is it the file name is correct? JCLs dot PSN. So we got zero. Okay, we got zero. So what you need to note? What you should note? Empty. So with the help of an empty you can decide okay whether file is an empty or not so either you can go with the empty or no empty so we can mention empty or no empty so both are fine so we have seen count from using also you have seen earlier now i will use uh, higher so okay so we will use higher like let's see for add count from there should be on It is giving the count count from using based on this criteria how many records are satisfying it is giving the count but i don't want to get the count so ctl1 let me try so higher higher fifty thousand. on let me try on so we need to see what is the column position of the balance i guess we created 5 15 and 15 35 36 i guess from 36 it is starting so this is 15 15 30 plus 35 36 onwards am i correct team 36 onwards right 36 comma 10 bytes uh, let me try okay i'm trying this we are getting access to it I don't know what happened today. It should come at the bottom. We got the maxes tool, right? On is not correct. So I am thinking, like you know, they have given higher. Okay, if they give higher, okay. Sorry, my understanding is wrong. Yeah. So I got the point. What it's actually. So. Uh, higher means in this particular file it has a more than five records or not so that is all about checking how many records okay submit 
we got no access it to well so we'll see the message the output always we need to see in the spool only can you see record count meets criteria rc means it has more than five records it has more than five records so because we kept nine right so that is the reason we got two well now i will keep 15 15 records are not there in the file we got max is zero so count does not meet criteria so i hope you are clear with this example what is higher next so i will use just count and try we got max is zero we got the whether file is empty or not you can see how many records based on that we can get the written code and we are getting the record count also we are getting the record count how many records are there nine records so we can get the total number of records in a file so since this step one is returning some written code based on that you can go for the second step execution you can use condition parameter we can proceed further right so we are yet to discuss condition parameter but in real time so if it is an empty it will return some written code proceed with that if it is not an empty proceed with some different written code or execute another step it will be like that so you have seen count also so instead of empty no empty higher lower equal so we can go with the high uh, x means number of records lower so if it is returning to all if the condition is a true uh, condition is a false what we are expecting if it is equal nine it is a true right if it is a true it is returning to all what is the return code it is returning to all see rc0 if the record count does not meet specified the criteria so we have seen you can use using control card to filter the data to filter the data you can use that also Venkat, uh, if written code zero means the file is not empty, four means empty, right? But we got written code zero, right? Uh, which one we need to consider? No, no, no. Okay, so I kept empty. So forget about what else I have. it is there. So empty, it is really empty or not? You tell me. PSN as a data or not? It's having data. It has. Data. It is having data. So, if it is having the data, and you are saying that empty, there is a conflicting, right? So you are yes. you are expecting empty, but it's not. So the return code will be zero zero. Okay, it's little bit here to focus. If twelve comes yeah. means twelve means you mention empty, it is really empty, then you will get the twelve. okay so rest you forget about them so not only this anything it condition is satisfied you will get the relevant code only tool so we specified in our example higher five so do we have greater than five records in this file or not yes we have so that is it. now it, it will return it to one yeah return code will be 12 so true means 12, 12. false means it will be zero as simple as true means 12 generally it will be 12 true mean uh, condition is false mean zero, zero. it can be 
any condition it can be empty no empty higher lower equal not equal anything so there are other things just ignore them but all you can focus them okay next data sort i was trying on control card right this is so data sort from to using header first header u first u trailer last trailer last v so if you want to copy the one or more headers okay sort the data records between header and trailer records in data set copy to an output so what happens team in real time you will be having headers and trailers so just omit the top headers and bottom headers trailers and sort it and copy the destination output, output to destination file copies one or more headers records more one or more trailers we will see them while sorting the input data set records between header trailer records to be output we'll see that right so now first i will change our input data i am going to take ps out employee data copying that is a header this is the trailer trailer save now we need to okay this data is in sorted order it seems so i will shuffle it not a problem venkat i have one file created you can use that if you want no uh, again it is easy for me to explain for you also to understand now we are following the same data now okay so right now data is not in sorted order correct so ps out cut ice 3 4 so i will keep it as a i2 i'll comment as i1 i3 i will uncomment okay i will delete this data and remove this one d4 is not required yeah so what is the operator now third operator data sort from i to i2 that is the data where we have to i3 we are redirecting the output to the spool using c uh, i will give a b c d to answer for our colleague question okay a b c d what is the rule what you are giving that should start with the abcd c n t l it is fixed suffix is free fixed predefined now sort fields is equal to 1 comma 5 comma ch comma ascending order so uh, our file has header and trailer correct so we have to ignore them rest of the data should process should uh, Okay, I will use header trailer. So that is the syntax header and trailer. Submit. So we got max is zero. Go to spool because we are redirecting the output to the spool. Let me purge the job stream. keep it in the first column yeah 
so let's go here if i use cross hair it is taking time to process where is i3 here now you can see team header remain the same trailer remain the same data also copied within a sorted order okay so you are able to sort it without when excluding header and trailer see at this moment there is only one header but there might be date in the next row okay so if you want to exclude top two rows and bottom two rows so if that is the case you to trailer just keep one okay so give one or two using a b c d okay so it will when it is going to do sorting it will what is there doesn't matter first two records last two records will not be considered for sorting as simple as is it clear so that's all about the okay data set see if you use header and trailer now you noticed first means first row last mean last row header u trailer v first u first or last i guess both are almost same so define the number of rec header records or trailer records to be taken to be kept in place so u v must be as an okay one to i guess 10 lakhs it's something like that so that's all about the data sort so defaults may not be required displays again okay yeah again it is a report generation so i'm not taking because it takes minimum two hours to discuss so we will go with the mode yeah mode also not correct so we'll go with the very important one select operator so okay team so we can see yesterday uh, i was asking right uh, like duplicate if duplicate record should be discarded uh, you know a second occurrence duplicate record should copy like that is a requirement if you take a file see only unique records so three is unique record because one has it twice i don't want to process four as is uh, unique five is a not unique eight is unique two is unique nine is unique so again depends on the criteria okay so depends on the criteria how you want to process let's take a example now let's we'll do an example so i am using ps out as it is that's okay uh yeah select select is the file name from it remain the same to where you want to copy i3 so on one comma five comma ch let's try to understand one by one operands so i've given end of the jcl if you see all dupes no dupes first first you last so one by one we'll see okay so formats okay one means on which field you want to do validation okay so do we have any example no right okay okay team so let's see first all dupes we will see one by one it's very very important all dupes let's see 
it is going to copy only duplicates okay go to this pool we have one and five are the duplicates see can you see all dupes means it is copying the records which has a duplicates alone is it clear team even stars also got copied so did you understand all dupes means if any record if any employee number has a twice or more than twice okay it will restrict retrieve you know so it retrieve all of them all dupes so i am assuming that you are clear with this team next so what is the next one no dupes means unique records all together unique records so save and submit so one file will not come rest of the things will come as per my knowledge yeah so one file even first occurrence also not coming okay even first occurrence also not coming that is all about no dupes so this is i i know i this particular utility i explained almost eight eight to nine months back i guess more than one year directly i am seeing the program writing this so team no dupes dupes you have seen we can write first what does mean so if let, let's take example first first has a twice right zero 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 one as per twice and five also twice it will take the first occurrence second occurrence will be discarded so uh, all unique records from duplicates one one occurrence that is the two first one that is the meaning of first so you see one is occurred five is occurred do i am referring the right one yeah i guess yeah even stars also it is referring one so can you notice even it is sorting also it is taking this sorting so you can expect interview question in this particular uh, this particular select uh, statement may, they may not ask which op which utility which operator they ask you the question that's all so so you can go you can give a trial first last duplicate all of them next i will go with the uh, range operator so range that i want to copy the data like a between operator in an sql i want to copy the data uh something who are getting salary between r okay who are getting salary between r greater than so i was trying this one and i was trying with the copy or count right i was using on stuff okay i suppose to use on right for the range but i am i was using for something else so we will see uh i will write i will use the same range from range from on two is not there you remember two means destination the report is going to come into this pool okay so on y five so 36 i guess 36 36 comma what is the record length i guess 10 uh, journal decimal you can give data day. so we can give higher greater than 55000 how many rows are there greater than 50000 
So it will give you the count at the end in the score. So you can use statistical information also, by the way. See total record count 11, but okay. So zero number of records. I supposed to give 10, but I given one. So obviously, uh, one position means it will be zero, right? So I should give 10. So we are comparing from 36 10th positions with 55,000. Which is include only. Okay, include we have used, right? Include condition. Same thing we are trying. So 11 records out of 11, 4 records satisfied the condition. Okay, so like this, you can go with the between range higher, lower, greater than, and less than. So it will be like this. Higher 50,000, lower 60,000. So, in this way, we can execute the range. Range operator. So, we, you can try all of them. You want to see whether 50,000 is there or not. This is equivalent to include condition. It is equivalent to include condition. So let me explain stats. Okay, simple. What happens, team? Here, stats means according to this particular position, how many uh, records are there? What is the total salary we are paying? What is the average salary we are paying? What is the minimum salary? What is the maximum salary? If you take a balance, uh, customer balance, transaction, what is the total sales? Okay, what is the average sale in the file? What is the minimum sale amount, transaction sale amount, maximum? That we can get. So, I have given the corresponding integer column data. So, you can see, I'll press F8. So average, maximum, uh, total, and minimum. Okay, team. So you can try splice and other operators. So I've explained uh, important operators. You can try other operators from this website. Let me stop the recording.